it's Stephanie, aka Zell Throughweight, and today we're going to talk about the crowning jewel of otaku culture, dakimakura, or body pillows. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's go ahead and get started. Lifelike, right? So here is the body pillow that the amazing people at anime daikomakurapillow.com sent me, and it is amazingly vibrant. This review is going to go over exactly what you guys should be looking for in a body pillow when you want to buy one. And the first thing you guys should look for is vibrancy of the print. I'm looking at it super close and I actually don't see any dots or lines or anything. It actually looks like I'm looking at a high res image on my computer. So the next thing you guys should look for in a body pillow is quality. We don't want just any kind of cotton. No. We're going to be cuddling with this in bed. We want to make sure it's soft and soothing and very peaceful. And that's exactly what this fabric is made out of. It's super, super soft. It's almost like silk and it just feels really dreamy and also has like a slight sheen to it and it just looks really really pretty and high quality. The third thing you guys should keep in mind when shopping for a body pillow is a really high quality zipper. You guys can probably can't really see that zipper and that's the point. It's right here though and it has a very nice hidden zipper so it looks really high quality, you can't see the seams, and it's just super easy to remove for cleaning purposes. And some body pillows actually are fully clothed on both sides. Sometimes they're a little bit more scandalous and risque. But this one actually is super cute, and it just has her in a really adorable bathing suit, although she doesn't look too happy about it. Nosebleed Central. So after I received my new friend here, I started thinking. When was the first body pillow ever made? Who made it? Who started this? What are they used for? I have so many questions. So for like the first time ever in history, Google kind of failed me when I Googled the history of body pillows. However, I was able to find a couple of clues to see when these started making the scene in the otaku world. The first clue that I had, it started somewhere in the 1990s. Otakus at the time started making body pillows by hand, and there became a lot of artists in the community that were selling them online. So it was totally born of a fandom, and then somehow mainstream companies got a hold of this and decided to profit off of it. I couldn't actually find out when body pillows started manufacturing, or what the first body pillow was, so it's all kind of mysterious. But one thing is for sure, body pillows have always been a source of comfort and serenity for the owners. And now, today, it's not only accepted, it's pretty much a guarantee that if you're a real otaku, you're gonna own one, two, three, seven, and one for every day of the week. Let's get crazy! Otaku means obsessive fan in Japanese, and I definitely consider myself to be one. It started off as like a negative term, kind of like nerd or geek, but I, I really feel like I am one, and if y'all want to label me that, then that's fine. I own it. Speaking of true otakus, I want to know how many of you otakus know what this word means. I'll give you a hint. Let me know in the comments below. So now that we talked about what makes a good body pillow and the history of a body pillow, let's talk about how to use a body pillow. The most obvious use for this is clearly using it as a passenger in the carpool lane. for a body pillow is like when you're working on a Friday and you just don't want to be there. Otaku life. Reblog. Hashtag. Hentai. Reblog. Ooh, Gem and the Holograms cosplay. Ugh. Movie version. Reblog anyway. Hashtag cute cat. Hashtag lovely cat life. Hashtag cat mom. Hashtag. Uh, Stephanie. I'm gonna need those notes in like an hour. Um, I'm leaving early, so just put them on my desk. <laughs> uh, no less than 12 pages. It was, we, we, uh, <laughs> we crunched a lot of numbers. So, single spaced, font type four. That's our new office regulation. Uh, Helvetica though, you can use Helvetica or Courier. We're, uh, 
We're fun like that. Uh, I'm gonna go play tennis. Have fun. Oh, I know. Oh, and this one is an important one. When you double book yourself on a Saturday night, useful. Hey babe, uh, that was food. I'm gonna go get it. And when I come back, we got Netflix. And chill. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. It was so weird, okay? So anyway, so I go there to get the food, and guess what? I went to school with the guy, seriously. And he gives it to me for free. I didn't even have to pay. I was like, I got the money, I'll pay you. And he's like, no, no, no. We wanna watch. You're letting me choose? Black? Yeah. To be honest, guys, I kind of treat her like a real person sometimes, and that's. it gets awkward. <sighs> Did I drool on you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We'll clean it together. Hey baby, I'm hearing those voices in the toilet again. It's like... I'll come back later. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing, beautiful otaku journey that we just had together. I hope you guys smiled, laughed, and had a good time. And if you did, remember please to subscribe. Thanks again to all the lovely people at AnimeDakimakuraPillow.com for sending me this amazing pillow friend. So soft and comfortable. Thank you so much. Much loves and virtual hugs from my house to yours. See you guys next week. Bye! You're really comfortable. Oh, this feels weird.